hello everyone uh, welcome to the third tutorial series in i3d based antenna design uh, in my previous tutorial series i explained how can we design a basic antenna and uh, what all features uh, do we expect to simulate and observe as our results in the i3d software uh, i also explained the uh, various toolbars which are used how to declare uh, the substrate dielectrics and uh, ground planes all those things uh, and uh, as i promised you i'll be talking about more advanced antennas so uh, specifically making slots designing various patterns uh, in the antennas so all these things will be covered uh, in the coming tutorials so uh, i hope you remember all our previous tutorials uh, you could even uh, go to the link and uh, try out uh, the tutorials once again uh, however let me again give you the disclaimer that this is not an theoretical antenna design tutorial but this is how to design antenna in i3d so uh, don't uh, expect in this tutorial that i would be teaching uh, how to design an antenna or uh, how to design an antenna for a particular frequency bandwidth power or all those things however i will also i will discuss various optimization techniques and maybe i may talk about some antennas in little more details in order to give a more realistic view okay so uh, in my previous tutorial there were some doubts with some of the viewers about port mapping and all those things so port mapping is pretty much straightforward in ie3d uh, against some other softwares like hfss or uh, maybe cst studio so in hfss and cst studio you need to by hand design the uh, ports like the diameter thickness the structure like uh, the external part would contain aluminium or metal then internal part would contain then insulator then again a conductor so these all things has to be designed manually whereas in case of ie3d you get a privilege that you just need to show the diameter and you need to give the position where you need to feed the probe so that's pretty much straightforward and the procedure has been pretty much covered in my previous tutorial series okay uh, now there was another doubt about some filter designs and things like that so uh, i as i told you i am not going to design uh, antennas or filters or whatever it is uh, theoretically and make it work but i am teaching here how to design an antenna or to be specific how to use ie3d so that we can design an antenna so quickly let's move to the topic so uh, in the previous tutorial we designed a simple patch antenna on an fr4 substrate now in this tutorial i'll show you that how to make these type of slots now whatever you are seeing over here this is called a vivaldi antenna so i'll be discussing how to design such type of antenna but before going to those things i'll be discussing about how to uh, uh, how to make slots in these antennas or different structures how can we st simulate it so let me show that but before going to that i wanted to just quickly show you the result because in my previous tutorial i had shown you some random result which doesn't make any sense but let's see if i have some results in this so that i can show you some uh, so this because of some button i think all those things have enclubbed into this toolbar but anyways uh, i can see display as parameter
Okay, I got it. So let me just close it. As soon as you close it, you can see the parameters over here. So this is BSWR plot. You can see the S parameter, which is resonating at to around 2.1 gigahertz with a good bandwidth. Okay. And similarly, you can go for some 3D plots. Uh, so in order to go to 3D plot into the 3D patterns, so there is no item, so it won't uh, show it right now. Okay. Anyways, I wanted to just show you how the parameter. So this S11 parameter. So some of you had sent a doubt about S parameters. So you can see that S11 parameter is the reflection parameter. So what it shows is at this frequency, the minimum reflection is there. So in this way, we analyze not the opposite. All right. So let's carry on with the tutorial. So let's say no. Okay. Uh, let me continue with the tutorial which I was going through last time. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to create a slot. Okay, so there are many methods to create a slot in uh, such type of antennas or any antennas for the most part. But uh, I prefer some multiple method out of which I'll be teaching you one of those. So suppose I want to make a circular slot in between. Then there are two techniques. One technique is that you just make a circle over here. Okay. Then take this polygon and select it. Then go to advanced edit and say separate remove polygon by polygon say okay so you can see that there is a big slot created over here all right so uh, i hope you understood that let me do some more so let's say i want One more. So let me do over here. Okay. So the uh, main thing is that when you cut it, uh, this should be of different material uh, or different layer. Sorry. So we are making a slot from here. So what I do is I check a different layer. Okay. Then I choose the select polygon and click over here. And go to advanced edit click on separate polygon then say remove polygon then it asks that till where do you want to cut it so suppose I want to cut it till two layers so it will cut it only till two layers right so in that way you can design it now you can see it in 3d also all right so you can see that uh, that one was cut only till two layers I hope you observe that it didn't cut the above layer because we deselected it. So if I want a bigger cut uh, right from top till bottom, then I would use that feature. Whereas if I want to cut it only till certain layer, I will use this feature. That is, I will simply uh, reject some other layer and uh, make the cuts. All right. So this is about making slots. Now, suppose I want to make a complex type of structure, which is not a square rectangle or any other standard polygon, but it is some random structure, suppose something like this. Now, one thing you can remember that if you want to make a straight line, press shift and then extend the line. In that case, it will be a exactly straight line. Okay. Then suppose I want to make something like this. So some kind of antenna, I also don't know. But you should always make sure that it ends exactly 
at that point where it started so you say yes oh, still it doesn't connect okay so now it's connected as we can see so this is made in the second layer so i hope you are understanding or you are getting some information as to how can we make different type of structures now uh, there are some structure wherein you require a narrow width and then a wider width specifically when we are doing impedance transformation problem that is uh, transforming a 50 ohm to 100 ohm or 100 ohm to 50 ohm or whatever it is so in that case we require a narrow width arm and then a broader width arm and uh, uh, things goes on like this so uh, instead of making much of hard work using squares and rectangles and what not you can use this feature of symmetrical step so you can say narrow arm length so narrow arm length let's say 2 so mind it we are doing it in mm so narrow arm width maybe 2 okay so wide will be obviously more so i'll write 4 and 4 right i'll say okay so you can see here very beautifully it's created a narrow and a wide one now there are many types of junctions like um, passive network like T or uh, no, rat nest and all those things so for that you can use this this is a Y junction so you can make a directional coupler or these things if you want to make so these tools come handy at that time so let's say arm length from the center let's say 5 arm width let's say 2 and let's say we want to make it exactly on the center or if you want to shift it let's say 52 by 52 okay so you can see here it's created right so similarly this one this one is like a ring so if, if i want to make a ring resonator something like this then you can directly use this tool instead of doing all the hard shifts so you can say number of segments uh, okay so there was one more question that how do we reduce the simulation time so these all things that you if you have less number of section uh, segments it will create less mesh and as less mesh is there obviously the calculations will reduce and hence the speed also reduces but in that case the accuracy of your result comes hand in hand more the number of segments more the number of meshing more is the accurate result but again longer is the time so you need to always compromise it with that that's why it's suggested that instead of doing a random design you should always start with a paper design which reduces the number of iterations so let's say inner radius is 20 outer radius is 50 and let's say this is 100 by 100 so you can see a ring is created so similarly you can explore this so, uh, in circuit design we generally say that we, we should not have a 90 degree transition rather there should be a 45 degree transition which will help in proper flow of current so this type this is that type of transition so which, which, which we call it as chamfered bend so arm length in the corner let's say 4 arm width let's say 5 let's say this has 500 by 500 okay so it's somewhere over here let me zoom it so what we can do we can use this and we can select this one like this so it's too far that's why you can see anyways okay we are reaching over here you can see okay so one more thing which is very important that wherever you keep your mouse okay it will start zooming at that point so that is an important point which you need to remember while designing some big designs okay so this is the chamfered edge rather we also prefer to have an edge over here though they have not provided but ideally for a good design both the sides should be chamfered otherwise it doesn't make any difference so it should be something like this okay so yes these all are some of the basic features 
uh, which come in handy while designing some antennas. Now in my next tutorial I will be discussing about designing a Vivaldi antenna which can be used for various applications. I hope you got some knowledge out of this tutorial uh, for subscribing to my channel and uh, liking my Facebook page you would get to ask uh, me doubts and have some discussions with more people over there so the link is provided in my comment section so please like and subscribe uh, my page and keep commenting your doubts thank you bye